what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys this weekend, this Saturday, today, and just in general. Super excited to be here with you guys. Uh, we are on our Clash Without Walls account. We've got a whole bunch of loot, as you can see, and uh, our defense has actually been doing pretty well. Uh, let's replay this. Uh, I guess I can only replay one of them. Uh, I think this guy just attacked. I didn't look at the time on it, but <clears throat> I had 249,000 gold available and 60,000 elixir available. And uh, his his giants over here, I think they just get wrecked or something, but he has no troops that are available to get into uh, my gold. I just realized that this gold storage over here needs to be moved over some. I'm so used to playing uh, plunder and twisting the screen. I really wish it was uh, a part of Clash 2, but eh. It's not. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Plunder Pirates is another game. Uh, I played on my second channel, Molt Plays. It's like a 3D world. It's pretty freaking sweet. Go check it out. That's Molt Plays. It's on the sidebar. But um, otherwise, guys, this defense, this setup that I have going on here is actually working really well. Um, all my gold is just sitting in there waiting for them to come get it, but they're not going to. I actually kind of like it without walls because... I don't know, it kind of throws people off, uh, just like with Southern Teaser bases for Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, so on and so forth. It's just a big open cluster. You can't tell where anything is, and the defenses just go all over the place. Um, and I guess kind of uh, when you have walls, you kind of guide troops along. This way, the troops just kind of just go wherever the freak they want to. Um, let's go ahead and move this up, uh, and I think it needs to come in one, right? Move this in and scoot this in. Yeah, there we go. Uh, all right, so there we go. That's our layout right now. Uh, we've had a couple of good attacks. Let's let's see. Uh, let's replay this attack right here. We're just doing barge as normal, guys. Um, and I'm doing pretty well with it down here, actually. Setting setting off a line of barbarians all the way around the base, as you can see, and then just spreading out the archers all the way around as well uh, and they just do a ridiculous amount of damage we can fast forward it and you can see even though the mortars are shooting at them uh, these this huge group of troops up here is about to just work uh, the rest of this base these mortars are both distracted on the side and uh, once these archers get in here they're like oh I'm sorry mortars but you're done you're freaking done boy <laughs> So uh, we're using Bard super cheap, super efficient. Uh, it is the way to go if you're trying to efficiently farm, especially if you're boosting. Uh, I'm not boosting my barracks right now because I'm about to go play some disc golf with two of my Young Life guys. Uh, if you guys know what Young Life is, you probably have it at your high school. It's already started. Uh, if you ever hear the word Young Life at your high school, uh, go over to that person and say, wait, what are you talking about? I want to go because it's fun. I'm a Young Life leader and it's awesome. Um, but why don't we go ahead and attack. We're going to see if we can find anything good like this. This is perfect. I definitely want to attack this base. It's got a good amount of loot up here in the top. And we can get rid of this mortar with these two lightning spells. Um, <clears throat> and we can just... Let's go ahead and drop off a bunch of barbarians up here. And we'll spread out some archers as well. And then I'm going to try and distract uh, the rest of the mortars down here. It looks like all my troops are, however, going to be... Uh, working their way down here to all these buildings. We don't need to drop off too many troops down there. Um, now it looks like the mortars are focused on the inside of the base again, but we can spread out our archers along the outside, even though they are just shooting at the walls. It should be good distraction. Uh, hopefully we can distract... Yes, so we're distracting this mortar over here on the right because it's freaking stupid. And we are about to get all of the loot. Here comes all the elixir for us. I'm just going to drop off the rest of our archers, get them up in there so they can take out that town hall and get us a three star, preferably, or definitely. Come on, once they take out the town hall, if we have a good enough amount of archers left over, there's way too much splash damage uh, being dealt to our archers right now by those wizards and those mortars, so I doubt, yeah. Well, it depends. It depends on what happens down here with all these troops coming in. <clears throat> I don't know if there are giant bombs there or anything, but it looks like we might be able to take out this wizard tower over here. Yep, we're definitely going to be able to take out that wizard tower. Come on, barbarians. What are y'all doing? What? All right, so we got that. Uh, I don't know if we will be able to take out this wizard tower, even though it does already have a little bit of damage. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Yes. 100% <laughs> 
right there. That was awesome. Epic raid. Uh, pretty good loot, too. We're almost full on our gold. Look at that. It's overflowing. <laughs> Let's go into the shop, and I think the first thing we're going to build is some walls. I'm sorry. We're not building walls, I promise. <laughs> Let's go build this other Tesla. Uh, we are going to put it... Uh, we're going to put it over here with this... Uh, where this giant bomb is, but not quite yet. Also, I am building my Dark Elixir storage right now because I've been finding some bases with Dark Elixir and I haven't been able to store it. Uh, so what we can still build from our, uh, whatever the freak is called, is our Dark Barracks, our Barbarian King. Uh, I guess we'll I guess we'll get one of these mines and just throw it in here. There we go. Uh, so we have one of those. And then I believe also that we can, yeah, we can upgrade a cannon as well. So... Why don't we uh, just create two more lightning spells and then, well, can we upgrade a wizard? No. All right, so wizards are super expensive. Uh, all of our, this is crazy. We still have a bunch of upgrades to do, guys, since we hit Town Hall 7. Um, and I need to get rid of this because it's it's just taking up room back there. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade a cannon as well. Um, we could do an archer tower. What are those? 7, 7. Seven and seven. Uh, let's go. Let's just do a cannon. We we almost could do. Oh wait, I have to wait for that law. I was like, what happened to another builder? I know that I have enough. Sprite. Mm. This right here is messing up my green screen, isn't it? <laughs> let's go ahead and upgrade this cannon up here at the top, and uh, we'll call that a. Can we research anything? No. Oh, we're so close. All right, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We are going to... Uh, no, we can't. I don't have time. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Like I said, I'm about to head out to play some disc golf uh, with some of my friends. So that's going to be a lot of fun. If you guys play disc golf, let me know down below. And let me know where you play. I'm going to play at Elon today um, in North Carolina. Uh, Elon Park. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys rock. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.